Julia Griffiths, and earlier this year, I started an initiative called Boot the Bottle, advocating for people in the developed world, like you and me, to not be dependent on bottled water as our drinking source, but rather using a reusable bottle and a water dispenser. Now, Ms. Russell is completely right. Everyone who has a blue sweater moment remembers it. I distinctly remember mine. It actually happened down that hallway in Mrs. Rogers' seventh grade science room. She showed us a video called Story of a Bottle, and that's what set me off and brought me here today to boot the bottle. But what if I told you that this campaign against plastic water bottles is actually about social justice? It's about people. Being dependent on plastic water bottles deprives you of your money, damages your health, emits CO2, impacts everyone, and unfairly harms people in developing countries. We should boot the bottle. Booting the bottle will save you money. In your first year of switching to a reusable bottle, you yourself can save up to 140 dirham. And collectively as a high school, over 50,000 dirham can be saved. Now, if you continue this trend for four consecutive years, you yourself can save up to 680 dirham, more money in your pocket. But now at the high school collectively, over 200,000 dirham can be saved. The possibilities are endless for what that money could be put towards instead. Putting the bottle will save you money, and it can save your health. As bottles are made from PET and BPA petroleum, which leaches into the water and into your body as you drink from it. And BPA is linked with diabetes, cardiovascular diseases, and interferes with reproductive development, according to the Harvard School of Public Health. Now the plastic is bad for you, but even the water it is packaged in is bad for you as well. The Environmental Working Group to test on 10 brands of bottled water found 38 contaminants, including what you see here, arsenic, radioactive isotopes, fertilizer residue, urban wastewater, caffeine, I said pharmaceuticals, and a variety of cancer-causing byproducts. Not to mention, plastic bottles are dirty. The longer you reuse them, the more bacteria grows in a bottle. And the longer it is reused, the more BPA leaches into the water, and the more serious your health can be affected. So these so thought clean water is quite dirty, actually. And this is troublesome, because consumption rates of plastic bottles have skyrocketed in recent years due to some misleading ad campaigns. And yes, plastic bottles do impact consumers' health, but also it impacts the entire world, as plastic bottles emit monstrous amounts of carbon dioxide during production and transportation. During production, it takes an immense amount of heat and energy to produce the bottle. In transportation, bottles have to cross seas and continents to get to the market. Now this is troublesome because NASA has concluded the reason the Earth is warming is because we are pumping increasing amounts of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. And this impacts everyone because carbon emissions are a significant climate change contributor that influences the frequency and magnitude of extreme weather events. Now this is backed up by the American Meteorological Society. And this extreme weather has detrimental impacts on society, on people like you and me here today. First things first, high intensity hurricanes increase in frequency and magnitude. This can devastate entire nations, take lives, and destroy homes. Just two years ago, this was experienced by the U.S. East Coast as it was battered by Hurricane Sandy. This is just one of many. It devastated the coastline, took lives, and destroyed homes. And now this has detrimental impacts on society. Not only does extreme weather include storms, but also severe flooding events. And as you can see here, flooding can engulf entire coastlines, making highly populated coastlines really vulnerable. And this vulnerability was shown in my example I just said, Hurricane Sandy. The storm surge so great, it made its way into New York's famous subway system, as you can see there, shutting it down for days. Yes, extreme weather does include this end of the spectrum with storms and severe flooding, but also the other end of it with heat. And it's more than just your regular heat wave. Rising temperatures influence the frequency and magnitude of droughts, causing widespread crop failure, driving down food production, driving up food prices. And who wants more expensive and less available food? Yes, this affects us here in the developed world, but also stresses the poor even more desperately. Not only does this affect our food production, but also our water sources, affecting from small villages to entire nations. Now, this drier condition makes a lot of places, as shown in this image, vulnerable to these drier conditions. 
droughts have been seen in six out of seven continents in recent years, and from this image, you can probably tell, most likely in your own home country. Rising temperatures also increase the likelihood of wildfires. Yes, this threatening image has been seen by some just this year, running away from their old neighborhoods being burnt to the ground. So extreme weather, like I just mentioned, might just affect you or affect your family or take a loved one's life, and is predicted to increase. This image here shows what climate tolerance to predict climate to look like in our lifetime, no matter your age. If we don't curb our carbon emissions, and by that, if we don't curb down our plastic bottle consumption. This is what we're here, this is what we're going to experience. And right now, in the early 2000s, as you can see in this very top image, yes, we're experiencing severe weather. If you don't like it now, just get ready for more. This image here shows the weather in the 2060s. Now, I'm not, depending on your age, that could be when you're alive, or your grandchildren, or your kids. And I definitely don't want to be alive and deal with these difficulties. And this might just affect you, your family, or take a loved one's life. And this climate change is mainly fueled by certain countries. This image here is a distortion of country size according to carbon emissions. Now, you've got your regulars. You've got the US, China, and India. But then if you look closely, you can see us, little old UAE. This small country, in fact, has the largest carbon footprint in the entire world. That's astounding making our responsibility to reduce that as residents of this country. Plastic bottle consequences does impact the entire world, but much of its harm is targeted at those countries you can barely see on this map, the ones who are not the main contributors of carbon emissions or plastic bottles, yet feel its consequence, the developing countries. It is not fair that most of 80% of plastic bottles are sent to landfills overseas in developing countries. It is not fair the poverty-stricken families living in or around these landfills are forced to breathe in the toxic decomposition of our plastic, which is dioxin. This image here just shows one example of many, called Smoky Mountain in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. It is a 100-acre landfill of burning waste. Smoky Mountain gets its name from the white fumes that rise from the burning trash, fumes of dioxin and heavy toxic metals, which leads to serious health effects. And each day, 2,000 workers work in or around this landfill and forced to breathe in this dioxin. But mind you, some of these workers aren't just old men. One-fourth of these workers are children. And each day, the dioxin they're breathing in is linked with cancer, impairment of the immune system, irregularities of the nervous system, and reproductive function. These children across the globe are feeling the detrimental impact of our plastic and our waste. How is that fair? It's like someone throwing their waste into your backyard, piling up the plastic bottles. So you are the one breathing in this dioxin, and you are the one who may get cancer. And this same thing happens to so many around the world. Smoky Mountains exist in numerous countries. How is it fair that those who are not the main contributors of carbon emissions or plastic feel its consequence? So the least we can do is to reduce by booting the bottle. This is something we can do every single day. Food in the bottle will do good for everyone. For us, it will reduce our monetary loss, reduce our health damage. And for others, it will reduce our carbon footprint and reduce our negative impact to innocent people across the world. Remember, each time you don't buy a plastic water bottle, you are supporting the world's future. Thank you.